Thanks, everyone, for still being around. I know it's been two days uh, and a long night for a few. And for those who tried to go back to winter tour, probably an even longer night, as there were some train issues. Sorry. According to us, we don't know if anyone hacked the train, but if it wasn't us. But thanks for being at the closing ceremony. Um, we definitely want to thank you for coming here. And of course, we were sold out, uh, which was awesome. So there was really high demand. We had lots of requests from people trying to come in for the last uh, two weeks. Um, so thanks for the big interest. The talks will be uploaded to the YouTube channel of DEFCON Switzerland this Sunday. Uh, at least most of them, uh, two of them, they still want to delay it a little bit because presented at other conferences after hours uh, as well, so there might be a delay, but most of them should be uploaded this Sunday. Thanks also for sticking around for the barbecue yesterday. Um, we managed to get about 400, five, five, yeah, 500 bottles of beer, uh, so appreciated that. Uh, we expect it's even worse. Um, but of course, there's a few bottles of wines as well. So yeah, I know you guys have fun. And of course, we hope that you had fun with the talks, with the workshops, with um, all the engagements uh, that we had, uh, with the batch, and so on. Should you want to get some more fun, and Area 41 usually is every two years, so that might take a while to the next one. Uh, watch out for Twitter notices on that one. But there's two other conferences, besides Zurich and Black Alps, both in Switzerland. They both have the call for papers open till uh, June 30th. So uh, definitely give them a go and check them out as well. And with that, let's hand over to the badge. <laughs> if it worked. <laughs> not really. OK, so not the badge then. <laughs> uh, let's do to tracking. Because of course, well, badge, it is about tracking, right? Is it? Hmm. Well, hmm. kind of. Hmm. So we didn't put any tracking device in the badge itself. But we all know it's Wi-Fi, right? So as with every other smartphone, it's actually trackable. And the sponsor, Fortinet, put up a few passive Wi-Fi scanners, as in tracking every MAC address and triangulating with different uh, hotspots or access points to see who moved where. And you can actually see here some of the patterns of people moving around. So every half an hour, they pinpointed the locations. Of course, we don't know who it is, uh, just tracking a device. Could be a smartphone who's still on. Uh, there's about 2,387 devices being tracked over the two days. A few of those, probably people passing back uh, and forth uh, outside of the, uh, the venue. But as you can see here, someone probably went to the hotel. But the funny one is all to your right, uh, low, kind of walking up and down. So probably on the phone having a long discussion uh, outside, or someone who's really dying for a smoke and every half an hour actually went out for smoking. Or a little freaky thing. Well, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, luckily, it's just tracking and not uh, <laughs> snapshotting any videos or pictures as well. Uh, but the most frequented uh, time frame was yesterday during lunch, where we tracked about 511 people walking around. So definitely interesting. But let's go back to the batch now. Back to tracking, you mean? Uh, yeah. As an introduction, let me explain a little bit about the, uh, the batch, what it did, and, and uh, a little bit of architecture. There's a 4 megs of uh, flash memory in the batch. The one on the right, the, the last one meg, is uh, SPIFS. SPIFS is a hmm, special file system, and we put everything in there. The, the files, your web server, little web server on the, on the batch um, delivered. Uh, the, the timetable stuff, um, yeah, and some audio stuff I will come back to later. And the first part of the, of the flash is filled with the firmware. And our original idea was to have a tiny, tiny little piece of firmware on the batch and then do the flashing over the air right here on the last or the day. Yeah. Just and in time. Yeah, yeah and uh, we tested it, and it somewhat functioned or worked. The firmware was installed, and the spiffs wasn't installed. So at the end, we flashed everything by hand. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, in all fairness, it worked during the testing. 
because we had just a small file of spiff, and at the time it worked seamlessly and without any issues. But yeah, as we learned out later, with the larger file, there are some issues. So yes, uh, do the proper testing first. Definitely would help. Yeah. Yeah, the problem was time lacking. So if you end the development on Wednesday and on Thursday, you should have. Yeah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> There's also a flash over the air mode on the firmware you have now on your batch. And you probably first clicked on cancel. Um, well, chicken, chicken, yes. Um, if you clicked OK, there were quite a few who tried that, tried their own um, access points, tried to get some connection, something. Well, there's a bug in the firmware. Uh, it's good we didn't want it to fly. <laughs> anyway, um, but there was quite a, a creative way to, since the OK button doesn't work, probably I could hack the firmware via DHCP or something. And um, this brings me to that. <laughs> Trying to add some shell shock code to DHCP server. Good idea, having the router execute it itself. <laughs> okay, thanks Floyd. To the, to the Easter eggs, there were two with audio and uh, you probably saw that something with audio, somebody played the, the file which was on the batch um, to me. I'm not sure if they extracted it and then played or just Googled it or whatever. Um, yeah. That's, by the way, a mod file mod. If you ever used an Amiga, if you were old enough to ever use an Amiga, it's a common format from there. Um, the cool thing is it plays on, on that, on that uh, firmware, uh, on that um, chip, but it had to double the speed because it, it needs quite to access the, 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 the flash and it needs 160 megahertz instead of 80. And we knew that. Um, this could be difficult because it uses double power, so batteries are going down faster, obviously. Uh, because there is no real audio thingy on, on, on the hardware, it, um, we found a I2S based uh, Delta Sigma software based, software based DAC. Uh, if you connect that one, we will see it uh, probably in the, in, in the next slide. If you connect a headset, to RX and ground, you can hear something. There's one tiny little problem I found out after three nights of uh, debugging. Um, you can't flash anymore because RX, anyway. Um, there's even a better uh, mode. Y you have some holes which aren't set or which aren't um, what's well, the? used and soldered. Yeah, That's no, not no. just because I forgot it in the morning, it's actually well. He says liberty. so about that. Yeah. Now, the, if, if you add a transistor there, the, 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 the model is, is in there, it should work better because um, the power on these pins on, on the ESP aren't supposed to power a, um, a headset or a loudspeaker. Yeah, it's probably safer to go that way. And um, yeah, the, the two names I, I added at the end, the Eel and the Euphoria, the one made the music and the one made the, the code I used to do that. Spooky. See, video is working. <laughs> Oh, and there's one more thing. There's another mode which some of you found, but it does something similar but completely different. It does this. Oh, no. Too quick. You have to start again. Please. 
That was Frag Volume 1, Issue 7, The Consigns of a Hacker. At least the, the first part. It's quite longer, but um, yeah. Uh, there's a copy of the complete firmware. We published that before. Uh, it's on GitHub. You will find it uh, via the link we have up there. Soon. Well, the, the link isn't made, but the code is already on GitHub, if you're quicker. Anyway, soon, yes. Uh, thank you for the pull requests, so we can add some more fun. Thank you for that. So we all hope you had fun playing with the batch, finding different Easter eggs. So there's a few more. We're going to publish them on the website as well. So some of you saw a Helix uh, running. Um, and of course, we hope you had fun playing Snake as well. But we also wanted to thank again our sponsors for making the conference uh, doable for us. And of course, for the barbecue, spending all uh, the money for the beers and the food and so on. So thanks for Platinum sponsors, Compass Security, Icepin AG Zurich, Skip, Entity Security, and Fortinet. And the gold sponsors, Joe Security, Kaspersky Lab, Vision, who provided the network, InfoGuard, and Splunk and Arrow. Also, our thanks to the silver sponsors for helping out with the conference as well. And of course, there's even more people. I mean, this conference wouldn't have been possible if we didn't have this many helpers and volunteers. So what I re really would like you to do is give a big round of applause to all of the volunteers and helpers that have been helping out in the background, also from the staff here, from the crew at the location. It has been amazing to work with you guys. Um, this has been an awesome com. I don't know how it was for you guys, but for me, it was really a great experience. So thank you very much for that. Also, first thing, sorry for interrupting the applause. Um, a first thing which we did was working with Cooper for all of the filming. And I mean, he did do an amazing job. All of the videos, or all that we are allowed to publish already, are going to be online tomorrow. So um, you can watch the talks that you've missed and still go back to work on Monday and have seen it all that you wanted. Yeah, he's so, my new hero. Yes, yeah. so thank you and a big round of applause also for him, I would say. Also, already for the last few years, we've al always worked with Spass, with the Swiss lock pickers, and it's been great that they've been here again. So um, I would guess we give them a round of applause as well, because it's great to have them, and they really fit well here. Thank you. And finally, I not only want to thank you, but also the ones that actually submitted something as a workshop. Um, this is. We've had this in the past, we didn't have it for a while, and we're really happy to have the workshops back. And uh, I hope we will have more workshops again the next time in two years. So um, if you have ideas, please submit them. But thank you now for everyone that submitted and supported us by committing something with content. Thank you very much. Thank you for all of you being here. It was great. Perfect. So. Of course, there's still something more, right? There's yes. the raffle. Yes, that's true. Um, but, well, yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> I think we forgot something. So um, if you three guys, Adrian, Desiree, and Candy, could take center stage for a second, maybe. But we're being told oh, we, not we, to we, move we around. We have to do it slowly yeah. because of the camera. Just yeah. move slowly. It will be fine. OK. Um, <laughs> so we, as DEF CON Switzerland, um, we've been running this conference for a while. And I think you all know 
how much work, how many hours, how much sweat and tears, especially tears actually, <laughs> um, <laughs> go into running this conference. I think we can all agree that this year's edition was one, if not the best so far. And the largest part, despite all the stuff you already said, is your hard work, your passion, your um, drivenness, like all of that. And I think you deserve a massive applause from all of us here for you guys alone. Thank you guys. Um, we can't really pay you, we don't, like for your hours and all you do, but we want to give you something small you can take home with you and use it for, you know, recovery. <laughs> so we got you a little something, a little sweet something. You all know what it is. <laughs> so, Thanks. I hope that will help. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Thanks again so much for your effort. Please give them all the round of applause. Thanks to you guys. Thank you very much. So Th thanks very much. We're getting to the closing and to the most interesting part for you guys, because we actually gonna we have a few gifts and we want to do a raffle. So your last chance to actually get your feedback form in. I know it's difficult to actually, well, give your feedback on a closing ceremony if you have to hand it in early, but, uh, well, if you still have one, now's your chance. Any last one? Want to give in a form? Else I guess we'll just I start. I guess that's gone. So let's start first with a uh, 50 euro voucher for a online shop, let's say. <laughs> yeah, Can you hold that? Of course. I've been told I have to pick and... You want to pick, I give. Or you want to? We can switch up. Okay. okay. Should I hold that one as well? Okay. Well, you got two hands. So I, I hope <laughs> that whoever I'm gonna pick is still here. If not, we're just gonna keep on until the first person that is here is actually picked. Um, that's no other. Daniel Hepner. I think so. Yeah. Daniel Hepner. Still here? <laughs> awesome. Well, he's holding it, so <laughs> <laughs> I keep mine. We're just standing here to say okay. Thank you. All right, so there's another voucher, actually the same. So, oh. well, <laughs> let's say similar. Plugin? You want to pick again? I'll take the other one then. Okay. Um, that will be Eric Bowersachs. Eric, still here? Okay. And thank you really for filling out the forms because we're going to go through all of these and include it um, for, for next conference and try to improve where we can. All right. So that's the third 50 euro voucher again. And after that, it's going to go to uh, some other prizes and then I'll pick. That's good. For the real prizes, you mean? Any name on it? Yes. I thought I saw that before. Benjamin Gutmann. Benjamin, Benjamin, are you still, still here? here? <laughs> or, you can't talk. Or do you want to give it to someone else? It's okay. You cannot keep it. Thank you. Sounds like a man in a middle attack there. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, so next one is a book, an O'Reilly book for a defensive security handbook with a signature of uh, Amanda. And that would be Juan Ramos. And there's another book. Well, the same. So she signed actually more than one. Thank you. 
Well, that's going to be difficult. Um, it says Stefan. <laughs> <laughs> no last name. Um, it's going to be a DDoS. Any takers? <laughs> well, would have been your chance. I would have asked if P H or F. So that's B R. So just the initials. Really do like nicknames, but it helps if you fill in your full oh, name here. Well, just at least the initial it. match, so it yep. could definitely be you. And it was only one person coming up in front. Or he's actually really good in the social engineering part. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. And the last one is a Bash Bunny with an introduction manual, if you need it, uh, sponsored by Entity Security. So for those who want to play tomorrow or even uh, tonight. And I think that's Adrian's uh, <gasps> pick. Don't look. Into which direction? Uh, BIOS? <laughs> it says yeah, BIOS. Somebody yeah. stood Yay. up, so OK. <laughs> Danke. Well, first come, first serve, right? <laughs> That's it for today. So thanks again for being here. Um, hopefully see you around at one of our Beer on Tuesdays or other events. And of course, have a safe trip home. Thanks again. Thank you. Bye. Bye.